welcome back. This is Renee. And I just wanted to come on here and deliver a message for Divine Feminine. Um, the feminines of my channel, which are a majority. But Some very magical things are happening right now. And I don't know if you're aware, Feminine, or I don't know if you are believing the energy right now. But more and more, I think these rewards are coming to you. This is good karma we'll say because what you put out is what you get back right and I feel like <laughs> I feel like the energy is just magical the energy just feels so intense so vibrant and so many things have happened to me in the past <laughs> week or so of this month. And I can only imagine that my collective, my beautiful feminines, are going through the same thing. Now, this is a new deck, so it's kind of awkward. So kind of bear with me, right? Uh, but let's get a reading. Spirit, give me a message for my feminines. Give me a message for my feminines. What is unfolding this month for my feminine collective? Justice. See, what did I say? Stick to your truth. Everything will turn out just fine. Right? And that's what I was saying. Number 11. <laughs> um, feminine you're getting your karma and this is beautiful because I feel like this month it's, it's your karma is magical it's magical right but I feel like a lot of rewards are coming in coming into your life at this in this month by the end of this month, there is going to be reward upon reward upon reward. The Two of Pentacles. When life gets chaotic, find a way to ground and balance. Right? Yeah. I feel like the universe is finding balance with the karma that is delivering to you. Right? Because the the feminines, look at how much you've been through this year, feminines. How much lessons and how much inner work, how much darkness you've had to kind of go through in order to get to this place. To get to this place where you are in, in life, right? And I feel like... All the work that you've done, my beautiful feminines, all the work that you've done is coming back to you tenfold, right? And this is going to come in magical ways. We have the star. Yeah, you've been through so much healing, having faith that healing is in the forecast. So you could be doing a lot of healing at the moment. The Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, right? Look at you, you're bursting with that spark with those sparkling new ideas. And I feel like this is a time when you are getting more ideas, and those ideas are going to become prosperous. Those ideas are going to flourish into something that's going to grow into an abundance for you. Okay, um, we have the King of Swords, 
we can all learn important things from one another. And I feel like the feminine collective, we're constantly learning from each other. We're constantly learning, constantly growing, constantly um, sharing information, trying to figure all this stuff out, right? Because this is not easy. This year hasn't been easy. The journey that you're on isn't easy, right? But we're working towards our Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. All this work that you've done, all the truth that you've told, all the burdens that you carried are turning into this Ten of Pentacles. Having it all looks different to everyone, right? And I feel like <laughs> at the bottom we have the Ten of Cups. Happiness, joy, right? Beautiful. Okay, but sometimes it really is all rainbows and smiles. Exactly. Exactly. And I feel like this is spirit. Delivering the message under that is the strength. Well, it takes great strength to be soft. And the lovers. Will you or won't you? The choice is yours. So I feel in this abundance time, in this great time of abundance this month, you're going to be delivered magical gifts. You're going to be delivered things that you just can't explain. And I'm going to tell you a story before we leave to try to get a little insight on how these gifts are unfolding for me because it, it's magical. It really is. And the kindness has been overwhelming. And I feel like spirit is, is letting you know that feminine, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And it's beautiful. But, um, okay, let me tell you the story. Okay, I was with my son. And we were getting gas so that I could take him to a... Fourth of July gathering, right? I get to the gas station and I only have enough for a half a tank. So I go into the gas station and prepare to pay for my half a tank of gas, you know. Figured that would suffice for a couple of days. And as I'm going into the gas station, a gentleman stopped me. And he said, these was his words. He said he felt like putting his pride and ego aside because a woman like me deserved a full tank of gas. Now, I never told him I could only pay for a half a tank. He had no idea how much money I had. So how would he know that? Right? And the first thing I thought was, Okay, what does he want to return? Is this his way of hitting on me? Is this his way of asking me out or trying to impress me by paying for my gas, right? And he assured me no. He didn't want anything in return. That he just felt that I was worthy enough to have my needs met, which was beautiful to me. So I asked him his name. His name was Deshaun. Very handsome. And I was still kind of reluctant because I thought maybe he still wanted something in return, right? Because in my past experience, no one gives you anything for free. Someone always wants something, right? I have a problem with accepting things, as you can probably tell. Um, but he paid for my gas. And then he walked away. And the funny thing was, he wasn't there to buy gas. He walked away. 
So that got me to thinking, what the, you know, um, and I mean, my heart was just overflowing with kindness at that point, right? Because I haven't had a lot of acts of kindness, so I'm not sure how to accept them. I'm not sure how to accept gifts, right? I'm usually the one who's giving. And so that really touched my heart. That touched my heart in a very deep way. Knowing that this man, Deshaun, bought gas from my car and then walked away. He wasn't even there for gas and didn't ask for anything in return. And I felt at that moment that angels were real, right? That he was, he was an angel. And very, you know, magical things, but other things, just simple things, like going to a restaurant and all of a sudden, you know, a waitress or a waiter comes with an attitude and they take your order and you show them in a different attitude than maybe what they have been shown. You know, maybe kindness, which I try to give everyone. I try to give kindness. I've try, I try to bring that to everyone I know, right? So in doing that, me and my son have had free things given to us. We've had half of our bills paid um, as far as a restaurant, you know. Um, and it's just, it just seems so magical that kindness is flourishing in that way, right? So I apologize if I'm getting emotional, but yeah, spirit is speaking through me in this reading. And I feel like divine feminines, your magic is just beginning because spirit is gonna unfold so many rewards. So much abundance is coming to you in this month and matter of fact spirit is telling me that by the end of this year so it's not just this month it's the rest of this year karma is unfolding so when it comes to karma are you going to get back what you put out So, be mindful of what you put out, feminine. Put out good. Put out kindness. And put out your purpose. Your purpose is to love. Increase the energy of this world. This world needs it. This world needs feminine love. Right? That's something that is lacking. The nurturing. Okay. <laughs> we'll move past story time. Okay, Spirit, give me... Give me a message for the feminine. Give me a message for the feminine. What would you like her to know for the rest of this month? What does she need to know for the rest of this month? Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, but fairies aren't going to come and do all the work for you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. No. Spirit is letting you know to keep doing that work. Keep being your best self. Keep working on the inner. And 
and your inner standing. Keep working, feminine, because the universe, God, source, is all recognizing your effort. Okay, so keep doing what you do, feminine, because whatever you're doing is working. It's working. It is working. <laughs> Spirit's telling me it's okay to cry. Thank you. Well, this is a quick message. And I'm sorry it got emotional. But, feminine, I look forward to hearing your stories. I look forward to hearing what spirit has done in your life. What magical things are happening for you. Because this is a very, I believe this is going to be a very magical time. So enjoy your ride. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Many blessings to you, love and light.